Under the 2019 rules, there is no penalty if you accidentally move your ball while searching for it. If you do, replace your ball back on its original spot. If you don't know the original spot exactly, like this player, simply estimate it, including how the ball was lying under the grass, and replace the ball there. Under the 2019 rules, if you accidentally move your ball or ball marker on the putting green, there is no penalty. For example, if you accidentally move your ball making a practice swing or in preparing for your stroke, drop your ball marker on your ball and move it, move your ball with your foot, or cause your ball marker to move. There is no penalty and you simply replace your ball or ball marker on its original spot. Other than when your ball is on the putting green, if you take an action near your ball and cause it to move, you get a one-stroke penalty under the 2019 rules. However, you're only responsible for causing a ball to move if it is known or virtually certain that you did so. This means when it is 95% or more likely that you caused it to move. For this player, it is not virtually certain that his actions caused the ball to move. Therefore, the ball is treated as moved by natural forces and played from the new location. After playing his shot, this player notices another ball and lifts it. Almost immediately, a player on another hole advises him that the lifted ball could be hers. In such cases, if your ball is moved or lifted by someone else, it must be replaced either by you or that person. This is done by simply replacing that ball on the spot it was lifted or moved from. If that spot isn't exactly known, as in this case, simply estimate it and replace the ball there. When dropping your ball under the new rules, the likelihood you will need only one drop will increase, while the randomness of your resulting lie will be preserved. The procedure is simple. Hold the ball at knee height, let go of it so it falls straight down, and make sure that it lands and comes to rest in the relief area. Don't throw, roll, or spin the ball, and don't let it hit you as it falls. When you drop in relief areas defined by one or two club lengths in the 2019 rules, a club length will always mean the length of the longest club in your bag, except your putter. For most players, that club will be their driver, but not always. This player is using his driver to measure his two club length lateral relief area outside a red penalty area. This player's back on the line relief area is one club length on either side of and behind the point he has chosen on the line from the hole through where his ball was unplayable in the bunker. He is estimating the size of his relief area without measuring, then dropping well within one club length of that point. Finally, when a player measures with a shorter club, it is still the longest club in their bag, except the putter, that defines the relief area. Remember, when you drop, your ball must always land in, come to rest in, and be played from the relief area. When taking relief from a penalty area for one penalty stroke, one of your relief options in the 2019 rules is going back on the line. Follow these steps. Estimate the point on the edge of the penalty area where your ball last crossed as it went in. Imagine a straight line running from the hole through that estimated point and extending behind the penalty area. Go as far back as you like and identify a spot on that line. Measure or estimate a one club length wide relief area on either side of and behind that spot. In the 2019 rules, a club length is always the longest club in your bag, except your putter. Then drop a ball in the relief area. Your drop ball must land in and be played from the relief area. In the 2019 rules, when dropping and taking free relief or penalty relief, your ball must be dropped in the defined relief area and it must come to rest in there too. Most of the time, with the knee height dropping procedure that will happen on your first drop, 
When it doesn't, drop a second time. If the drop doesn't stay within the relief area either, place a ball where your second drop first touched the ground. In the 2019 rules, when you take lateral relief from a red penalty area under a one-stroke penalty, estimate the point on the edge of the penalty area where your ball last crossed as it went in. Starting at that point, measure or estimate your two club lengths relief area outside the penalty area that is not near the hole. In the 2019 rules, club lengths are the length of the longest club in your bag, except your putter. And then drop a ball in that area. Your drop ball must land in and come to rest in the relief area. When the 2019 rules let you lift your ball to take relief instead of playing it as it lies, you will be allowed to either use your original ball or substitute and use a different ball. In the 2019 rules, you are allowed to substitute a ball when taking free relief as well as when taking penalty relief. This player is substituting a ball when taking free relief from a cart path. After you mark, lift and then replace your ball on the putting green, if it moves for any reason, including through your own accidental actions, or for some other reason, such as the wind, always replace your ball back on its original spot. If you don't know the exact spot, estimate it as accurately as you can and replace the ball there. The 2019 rules allow you to repair almost any damage on the putting green. In addition to ball marks and old hole plugs, you're allowed to repair spike marks and any other damage caused by shoes, repair animal damage, and repair damage caused by maintenance practices. The fixing and repair of the putting green must be done promptly and must not improve your line of play beyond the repair of the damage. Under the 2019 rules, when you're assessing the line for your putt, there will be no penalty if your caddy or partner touches the putting green to point out where you should aim or how your putt will break. This includes touching the green with the flagstick. Under the 2019 rules, there is no penalty for hitting the flagstick that is in the hole when you've played your stroke from off the putting green or if you've played your stroke from on the green. So, if you want to leave the flagstick in the hole, Perhaps to save time or because you think it helps you, there is no penalty if your ball hits it. If your ball is not hold, play it as it lies. In the 2019 rules, areas with red or yellow markings most golfers call water hazards have a new name, penalty areas. Penalty areas can also include other places on the course not containing water, where balls are frequently not found or not playable, such as jungles, deserts, canyons and more. If you lose your ball in a penalty area, or find it and decide not to play it, you have several options to take relief outside it for one penalty stroke. One of them is lateral relief. Estimate where your ball crossed the red line as it went into the penalty area, Measure or estimate your two club lengths lateral relief area outside the penalty area that is not near the hole. Then, drop a ball in the relief area and play it from there. The 2019 rules introduce the term penalty area, which includes areas previously known as water hazards. If you find your ball in a penalty area and want to play it from there, the same rules apply as when playing a ball from the fairway or the rough. So before making a stroke, you're allowed to move loose impediments, make practice swings that touch the ground or any water inside the penalty area, and ground your club near your ball.
Under the 2019 rules, there is no penalty for moving loose impediments when your ball is in a bunker. However, some bunker restrictions continue to exist. For example, you are still not allowed to touch the sand with your club, behind or in front of your ball, when making a practice swing, or when making your backswing. When you decide your ball in a bunker is unplayable, under the 2019 rules you have an extra option that lets you drop back on the line outside the bunker for a penalty of two strokes. Imagine a straight line running from the hole through where your unplayable ball is. Identify a spot on that line as far behind the bunker as you like. Measure or estimate a one club length wide relief area on either side of and behind that spot. Then drop a ball in that area. Your drop ball must land in and be played from the relief area. The rules permit you to freely exchange advice with your caddy or partner, but you are required to act alone when making a stroke. Under the 2019 rules, once you start taking your stance for a stroke, neither your caddy nor partner are allowed to stand behind you. It is important that you are aware of how your pace of play impacts others. The 2019 rules encourage prompt pace of play by all players by recommending that you play promptly throughout the round, such as by preparing in advance for each stroke, moving at a good pace between strokes and between holes, and that you make a stroke in no more than 40 seconds. The 2019 rules also expressly allow for you to agree to play out of turn in a safe and responsible way, to save time or for convenience. This is often referred to as ready golf. The order of play when starting a hole depends on who has the honour. After that, it is based on which ball is farthest from the hole. In stroke play, however, there is no penalty for playing out of turn. And the 2019 rules both allow and encourage you to play ready golf, which means to play in a safe and responsible order that is most convenient and that saves time. These players agreed to play out of turn because the player farther from the hole had a difficult shot and the other player was ready to play. The 2019 rules include a new form of stroke play called maximum score. Under this alternative form of play, a maximum number of strokes are set to cap a player's score on each hole. Example of maximums are net double bogey, two times par, or a fixed number such as a 6, 8 or 10 strokes. This means if you pick up your ball without finishing a hole, you get the maximum score for that hole. No more, guys. To help pace of play, you are encouraged to stop playing a hole when you reach the maximum, or you realise a score of less than the maximum will not be possible. After each stroke you make on a hole, you are supposed to find and play that same ball. Most of the time, it is possible to identify your ball without lifting it, but occasionally you need to lift it to do so. Under the 2019 rules, you are not required to announce that you intend to lift your ball to identify it. But before you lift a ball to identify it, you need to mark its position, and you are not allowed to clean the ball any more than needed to identify it. If the ball is yours, you will put it back in the same place where you lifted it. Starting in 2019, when your ball is lost or out of bounds, your course can use a local rule that does not require you to play under stroke and distance. Here's how it works. For two penalty strokes, estimate where you think your original ball is or where it went out of bounds. Imagine a straight line running from the hole through that estimated point. Next, estimate the point on the nearest edge of the fairway that is the same distance from the hole. Imagine a straight line running from the hole through that estimated point. The relief area where you can drop and play your ball for two penalty strokes will be quite large, 
anywhere as much as two club lengths outside of the two lines and between them, but not nearer the hole than the spot where you estimated your original ball is lost. You cannot use this local rule if your ball is lost in a penalty area or if you have played a provisional ball. 